Have you ever wondered what would happen if one of the brightest stars in the sky suddenly went dark? Well, that's exactly what happened to Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is a massive star, about 20 times the mass and 900 times the radius of our sun. It is also one of the closest supergiants to Earth, only about 700 light years away. It is a variable star, which means that it changes in brightness due to pulsations and dust ejections. But recently, it became fainter than ever before, losing more than two-thirds of its luminosity in a matter of months. This event was dubbed the Great Dimming of Betelgeuse, and it sparked a lot of speculation and curiosity among astronomers and the public alike. Was Betelgeuse about to explode as a supernova? Was it a sign of some mysterious phenomenon happening inside the star? Or was it just a normal cycle of variability? In this video, we will answer these questions and more by looking at the new study that reveals the cause of the great dimming of Betelgeuse. We will also discuss the implications and significance of this study for understanding Betelgeuse and other red supergiants. And we will address some of the common misconceptions and myths about Betelgeuse and its dimming event. So stay tuned and get ready to explore the secrets of this fascinating star. The main findings of the new study are based on high-resolution images from the European Southern Observatory, ESO, which is an intergovernmental organization that operates some of the most advanced telescopes and instruments in the world, located in Chile. One of these instruments is called SPHERE, which stands for Spectropolarimetric High Contrast Exoplanet Research. SPHERE is designed to image and study exoplanets, or planets outside our solar system, by blocking out the bright light from their host stars. But SPHERE can also be used to image and study other objects, such as Betelgeuse. The images show that Betelgeuse's photosphere, or visible surface, was partially obscured by a cloud of dust that formed from silicon monoxide molecules. This molecule can form dust grains when it cools down in space, so the dust cloud was likely ejected by a large convective cell on the star's surface, which is a result of Betelgeuse's pulsations and instability. A convective cell is a region where hot gas rises and cold gas sinks, creating a circular motion that transports energy and material. Betelgeuse has huge convective cells that can cover up to half of its surface at a time. These cells can also create shock waves that push out gas and dust from the star. The images from Sphere show that one of these convective cells was located on the southern hemisphere of Betelgeuse, where the dust cloud was also seen. The dust was blocking about 50% of the light from that hemisphere, making it appear much darker than the rest of the star. It was also asymmetric, meaning that it had an irregular shape and size. This explains why Betelgeuse's dimming was not uniform across its surface, but varied depending on the viewing angle and wavelength. The images also show that Betelgeuse's photosphere itself did not change much in size or temperature during the dimming event. This means that Betelgeuse did not shrink or cool down significantly, as some people had suggested. Instead, it was mainly the dust cloud that caused the dimming by scattering and absorbing some of the light from the star. The implications of the new study are manifold for understanding Betelgeuse and other red supergiants. First of all, the study provides a clear explanation for the dimming event, which was previously speculated to be caused by various factors such as temperature changes, magnetic fields, or stellar rotation. It shows that dust formation is a key process that affects the brightness and appearance of Betelgeuse, and that it can be triggered by convective cells on its surface. Secondly, the study demonstrates the power and potential of modern telescopes and instruments to capture unprecedented details of stellar phenomena. The images from Sphere are among the highest resolution images ever taken of Betelgeuse's surface, revealing features as small as 37 million kilometers across. That's equivalent to about 25 times the diameter of Earth. They also show different wavelengths of light, such as visible, infrared, and polarized light, which reveal different aspects of Betelgeuse's atmosphere and dust cloud. Thirdly, the study raises some new questions and challenges for future research. For example, how often and how much dust is produced by Betelgeuse, and how does it affect its evolution and fate? How does the dust interact with the star's magnetic field and wind, which are also important factors in shaping its environment? 
How does the dust influence the detection and characterization of exoplanets around Betelgeuse, if there are any? And how common and diverse are dust formation and dimming events among other red supergiants in our galaxy and beyond? One of the most common misconceptions and myths about Betelgeuse and its dimming event is that Betelgeuse is going to explode as a supernova anytime soon, despite its erratic behavior and advanced age. A supernova is a powerful explosion that occurs when a massive star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own gravity. Betelgeuse is indeed a candidate for a supernova, as it is nearing the end of its life cycle. But that does not mean that it will explode in our lifetime or even in the next few thousand years. The star still has thousands or millions of years left before it exhausts its nuclear fuel and implodes. The exact timing of its demise is uncertain, as it depends on many factors that are hard to measure or predict, such as its mass, rotation, composition, and internal structure. The dimming event of 2021 was not a sign of its imminent demise, but rather a normal cycle of variability that has nothing to do with its core. In fact, Betelgeuse has already recovered from its dimming event and is now back to its normal brightness. Another misconception and myth about Betelgeuse and its dimming event is that if Betelgeuse does go supernova someday, it will pose a threat to Earth or life on it, as it is too close and too bright. A supernova is indeed a very energetic and luminous event that can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief period of time. But Betelgeuse is not close enough or bright enough to cause any significant damage or radiation to our planet or biosphere. It is about 700 light years away from Earth, which means that it takes 700 years for its light to reach us. That's far enough to make it safe for us to observe and enjoy its spectacle without any harm. Even if Betelgeuse exploded right now, we would not know about it until 700 years later. And when we do see it, it would not be much brighter than the full moon in the night sky. It would be visible during the day, but not enough to blind us or affect our circadian rhythm. It would also not emit enough gamma rays or neutrinos to penetrate our atmosphere or affect our health. We hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting about this fascinating star. Betelgeuse is a unique and complex object that challenges our knowledge and imagination. It is also a beautiful and captivating sight in the night sky that reminds us of the wonders and mysteries of the universe. If you have any thoughts or questions about this topic, please feel free to share them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this one. See you next time.